What's up, everyone? Uh, my last couple of tutorials have been based around adding sports uh, plugins and to get up and running. I found that a lot of people who are looking to cut their cable subscription, the biggest issue they have is they can't find a reliable sports option. That being said, um, there are a lot of premium options out there that can easily replace this. Uh, I just recently in, uh, did a tutorial on sports access for Cody which you know technically is again in that gray area of third-party add-ons. Um, with the ProSport add-on it is free but as, a, as is the case with a lot of free add-ons they typically stop being actively developed because the developer is doing it for free and you can't keep up with the demand and the constant changes uh, being faced with these with plugins and whatnot. I had a couple questions in regards to why the MLB was no longer working in ProSport and I found out that it's just again because of it's not being updated and it's almost like a cat and mouse game between a third party developer and the actual MLB. That being said I wanted to recommend and show how to install MLB.TV if you're a big baseball fan. MLB TV is great it's got the best sources I rarely have any issues with it whatsoever. I know some people do complain about blackout or blackouts, but I don't have those issues, thankfully. And you can probably use a VPN if you're familiar with that. So today I'm going to show you how to install MLB.TV. It is a premium service. Um, I just picked it up for the whole year for 50 bucks. Uh, I was a previous subscriber, but hadn't renewed quite yet because they always throw these deals out. Um, it is 110 or 100 bucks, I think, around there for new subscribers. So it's well worth the cost if you watch a lot of baseball. So today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the MLB.TV add-on in Cody. Um, I'll provide the link to this thread on the Cody forms. Um, Arachnophobia has gone ahead and changed and added his own repository for updates and whatnot. So all we have to do is download his repo, which will be on this page. And you can see here at found in my repo. I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to click it. Once you've downloaded it, save it somewhere that you'll remember. And then from there, all we have to do is go into Cody. All right, now that we're in Cody, we simply just need to install it like any other add on. Uh, unless you're using Fusion, it's a little different, but you got to do it the old fashioned way. So scroll over to System. Inside of here, we want to scroll down to where it says Add ons. And inside add-ons, we want to choose install from zip file. Now I saved mine to the desktop of my computer and inside of a Kodi folder. So inside of here, you'll see repository.arachnophobia.zip. Hit enter. And you'll get a notification saying the add-on's been enabled or updated. Um, I've already had it installed, so it says updated. Before you leave this screen, we need to go to install from repository. Um, scroll down until you see Arachnophobia's repo, hit enter. Inside of here there's video add-ons and inside of here you've got MLB.TV you just simply hit enter and instead of this screen you'll be giving a screen that says install so just hit install and again you'll get a notification in the bottom right saying it's been installed and enabled. Um, the next thing you need to do from here is bring up the context menu so press C and you'll be given this option where it says add-on information and configure. What you want to do is hit configure uh, and what that does is it will pop up a screen giving you uh, where you can enter in your username and password and there's a couple other visual options that you can do. I usually just leave everything as the default so what I do is I'll just enter in my username and password into the required boxes. I'm not going to show you that just for safety purposes of my account. And from there you just hit OK and then you just back out of there. So let's just quickly show you how this works. Very straightforward, very simple. It's an awesome add-on. Props to Arachnophobia for doing it. Um, scroll over to videos and hit add-ons and I've actually already entered in here so you'll be given a list MLB.TV hit enter and you'll see today's games and here's a list of all the games I'm just gonna quickly pop this open I won't let it play too long as I don't want it to get taken down due to a copyright claim so hit enter you'll be given a list of highlights um, 
which broadcast you would like to watch it on. I'm going to choose Toronto's. And here we go. And it works awesome. That's it. If you have any problems, if you have any questions about the add-on, feel free to drop a comment in below. And if you like my channel, please subscribe.